All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another uh, recording here. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit right now about the basement. Um, I'm sorry if the picture is a little um, fuzzy on this one. I'm using the tablet instead of my phone this time. The battery's almost dead on the phone, so I figured go with the tablet. So. Anyhow, so I want to talk about a little bit of the future construction work that's going to be done on the basement here. Uh, let me go ahead and flip this camera around real quick. Um, because I want to show everybody a little bit of an idea on what I want to get done down here. Um, and I'll also explain some of the way that this basement was set up before um, before the house was purchased. So, um, And there's going to be a lot of work that's going to be down here. Thankfully, down here, it's actually going to be a very simple construction job. So, if you'll bear with me, uh, let me go ahead and flip this camera around and we'll get to talking. Or not talking, but showing. So, anyhow, so, um, right here is the basement. Um, <clears throat> just a general view of this area here. Um, so, some of the work that's going to be done down here, obviously, the pool table is, has a new residency down here. Um, I actually bought this pool table from a friend of mine. It's a valley bar table. Um, and I bought this bar as well, as well as that mirror that goes with the bar. Here, let me turn the light on in here. And there we go. It doesn't really help out much with it, but, and everything just went fuzzy. Don't know why, there we go. Okay, so anyhow. So, right here we have an air hockey table that has all the Christmas decorations on it, but I'm actually donating this air hockey table uh, to my fiance's uh, brother-in-law's church um, so they can have a new one. And then this here is the air hockey table that's replacing the one I just showed you. Um, I got to do a little work with the legs because um, as you can see right here, you know, that's just made out of some cheap wood. So I'm going to get some uh, better quality wood to put on this table and um, rebuild it. The legs themselves are still good, so. But I got a little bit of work that I need to do this one before it can be set up. So anyhow, so uh, here I will, um, I'll lean this table forward a little bit so you can um, see what it looks like. See, it's just, you know, standard air hockey table, nothing too awful fancy about it. I gotta get some cleaner for the table and, uh, um, there's also some stuff that I can buy for it as well to um, make it a lot slicker. Okay, so anyhow, so what we got going on is when my fiance and I bought this house from her parents, um, there was a wall that went all the way across um, to right here at this joint area, right here. And then, you know, this was just your entrance way right here. Um, I have taken that wall down, most of it. I still have that little bit over there to take down. Um, and that was to get this pool table down here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys the steps. Um, with the way these steps are set up, it is not meant to have a pool table brought in. Um, it was a little bit of a pain in the rear end. Getting it down here, you can see where the wall was hit there. And it was hit there and up there as well. Um, so it was, it was a little bit of a pain in the rear end to get the, uh, pool table down here. Um, and I do want to apologize for the screen getting fuzzy and clearing up and everything. Cause once again, I am using a tablet instead of, uh, my phone. So anyhow, so, um, what's going to be going on in this basement is first um, this right here this section right here and my son did some painting on the uh, desk which I was not happy about still trying to figure out if I can clean that up or not but anyhow um, this is gonna be completely torn out um, all the way to right there um, that part will stay as is you know in under the stair closet and it's got the shelves in here where you can see board games at um, so this is, this right here is going to be completely opened up and this is where that bar and that mirror is going to be going is right there. But there's also going to be a wall frame that's going to be built against the foundation. 
and it's gonna ha and it's gonna be insulated and have drywall up. It'll help with the. It'll also help maintain a good temperature down here during the winter and the summer. And then this wall, um, which is the foundation, will also have a wall frame built all the way down, and it will be insulated. Um, and then got my gaming computer right there. Then my big TV that doesn't get used right now. And speaking of painting, I've actually also started doing a little painting myself. I'll just go ahead and show that off right now because it looks like crap. <laughs> I did a very terrible job. My first time doing oil painting. I'm um, actually doing any kind of painting. Um, been watching a lot of Bob Ross lately. Don't ask. But... But anyhow, so, and then all this lattice right here, all this stuff is going to be removed. Um, this area is going to have a drop ceiling put in because of all the duct work as well as the plumbing and everything goes. Um, whereas over on this side over here, you know, it does have a finished dry, uh, drywalled ceiling, but... Um, the ceiling will actually be getting torn out and a new ceiling will be put in uh, so I can get in there and do some electrical work and everything. And then this wall right here um, will be removed all the way across um, to make this area a lot to make this area a little bit bigger. Um, a little bit of the basement is a mess. Excuse me, a little bit of the basement is a mess right now. Um, you know, it's this area right here is just being used for storage and everything right now but that wall there will be removed and then um in here is my fiance's office for work um it is a disaster right now as it's being used for storage but we will work on getting it cleaned up and i know i did an animal video earlier but this is the hamster's cage um it's got to be cleaned up and yep, there he is poking his nose out right there or well he was guess he's wanting to go back to sleep i disturbed him um but anyhow so this is my like i said this is my fiance's office you know there's her two monitors and everything and uh um this office is going to be turned into a really nice office for her um as well as you know this foundation wall right here is going to have an actual wall frame put up with insulation and um drywall and everything and it's going to look nice when it's done um and then if we come over into here this is the storage room which is also a disaster right now and needs to be tidied up um there's really not going to be any kind of changes in here it's going to pretty much stay the exact same way that it is now um and then there's my little rc airplane that i haven't touched in a couple of years but um, the only thing that we're looking at doing is eventually um, pulling this little shelving unit out right here and eventually put the washer and dryer down here in the basement over in this corner as well as the deep freeze. Um, but another job that does have to be down here is the electrical work. Um, this is the panel. It's only a 100 amp breaker panel. Um, which that wire right there that you see tied off, um, I just did that to... Uh, move the uh, inbound wire out of the way um, because of the um, outdoor conduit that I ran right there that does go outdoor that's for the pool um, so I had to move that wire out of the way so I could uh, feed some wire in there but that panel is going to be replaced with a 200 amp panel um, hopefully this spring Um, but anyhow, so, let me get some lights turned off here, so, coming out here, this wall is also going to have a wall frame built, um, that'll be insulated and have drywall on it, um, as well as over here on this side of the steps, um, that's going to have a wall frame built on it too, that will sit behind the steps in that gap right there, um, just to close that off make it look more appropriate and everything um but and then uh coming over here because this actually used to uh be used as a bedroom and there's the two chairs that go with that bar but um 
Anyhow, so this little wall right here is going to be torn out as well. I've already, you know, unscrewed this sheet of drywall from it. Um, and then all this is going to be torn out. Just to completely open this area and that's being taken out. And um, don't know exactly how everything's going to be completely set up in here. Um, the pool table itself is going to stay where it's at. And then the air hockey table, uh, once that wall right there is removed, the air hockey table will probably, you know, go back in that area because air hockey table just doesn't need a lot of space. And then on that wall right there, planning on putting, hanging that TV up on that wall over there. And then just put a couch right here. That way come down here and be able to watch a movie. Now, like I said, this is going to be a lot of simple work. There's not a whole lot that's involved with doing it. It is going to take a little. It is going to take a little bit to get it done, though, um, just because of the financial part of it. Plus, trying to get the entire game plan going on what's going to be done down here and everything. Um, so, but when the construction actually starts down here, I am going to do some videos on it. Um, I'm going to try. And, I want to try and keep each video at 30 minutes or less because I know if it gets longer than 30 minutes, I don't know about anybody any of you guys out there that's watching this video right now but I know myself how to videos on YouTube if they get to be longer than 30 minutes I usually lose my interest in the video um, some videos that some how to videos I've seen that were an hour plus I mean I did watch them just because of what it was involving um, but anyhow um, and so that's the work that's going to be done um, here inside the house down in the basement um, there's obviously going to be more work that's going to be done throughout the house but um, right now I'm not going to talk about any of that stuff um, or well this uh, this spring we are going to put a front porch up but um, I don't feel like going outside right now so I don't want to show a video on that um, I'll do that I'll do that video when it comes time for the construction to get done um, I'll do one probably a couple days before or the day before that it actually starts to show what's going to be going on and everything and then I'll do a uh, how-to video on how it's getting done and everything um, as far as I have to have the permits and stuff like that um, but anyhow um, and I know on the uh, video that I did earlier I said that you know it was gonna be more than just about the animals in the house and mostly the bearded dragon it's also gonna be about um, you know the construction like I said um, I've out I have also gone into a new thing of you know doing um, um, trying to do music and everything um, working on different music beats right now so here let me flip this camera around and this is a program that I'm using. It's called FL Studio. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Here, I'll just show you a couple of small things, you know, real quick. Um, that'll just be a real quick, not so important beat. Just throwing something, throwing something together here, real quick. I haven't messed around with it a whole lot, so I'm not real clear on this program yet. Let's see, it's like there's a deal that I put together right there. Um, kind of cool. So yeah, so anyhow, um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, end this video right here for a while um i might do another one today i'm not sure um here let me stop this there we go i might do an, i might do another one today i'm not 100 sure yet um i'm just trying to get um some different things set up right now as far as um the construction side goes because i do want to share some real good how-to videos um, with the construction um, I know there's a lot of uh, I know there's a lot of how-to videos on YouTube um, 
I've seen a lot of videos on some different projects that I'm interested in getting started on. Um, so I do want to spend some time, you know, doing my own videos on, you know, the way that I do construction. Um, all construction is pretty much done the same, but some people have, you know, different, um, different ways that they do it. Um, so, but anyhow, we'll see how, we'll see how that all goes and everything. And then, uh, you know, we'll go from there and anyhow, so I just want to go ahead and end this video here and, uh, hope everybody has a safe day out there. Uh, depending upon where you're at in the country, the roads are terrible. Just saying winter time. Hey, everybody have a good one.